Here's the last one for this part. Creatine reduces myostatin expression. Myostatin muscle stopper is a protein everyone makes in their skeletal muscles that reduces how much muscle growth you have. It's a cap on your growth. If you make less myostatin, it frees your muscles up to grow more. You guys ever see those pictures? Scott, can we insert a picture of one of those greyhounds or cows or some shit like that that has broken myostatin? Yes. Those animals just have a completely non-functional skeletal muscle myostatin gene, which means they grow muscle doing nothing all the time and they grow maximum muscle all the time. This shit is way more powerful than steroids. Creatine, just by a little bit, has been shown in the scientific literature to decrease the expression of myostatin, which means that protein that blocks growth, creatine lowers it. It frees up more growth. Now, man, this is starting to look like we have evidence of creatine gaining muscle, We have evidence of that in the absence of body water or controlling for body water changes. We have performance enhancements. We know also cause hypertrophy. Creatine does those. And we have satellite cells and myostatin activity being modulated, both of which are really linked to growth. It's kind of starting to look like something's happening. You know, it's like you see a guy in an expensive car and you're like, is he really rich? He shows you his bank account. You're like, okay, that's a lot of money, but is it fake? He shows you his portfolio of companies and you're like, okay, these clearly make money. And then you're like, well, maybe it's all fake. You talk to the customers and they're like, these are great products and I pay money for them all the time and they really work. And you're like, yeah, I guess this guy really does make money. Holy crap. Multiple, a consilience of evidence from multiple perspectives shows you, yeah, this thing is probably really happening. So what are the conclusions from this overarching body of evidence? Creatine reliably augments, improves real muscle hypertrophy with resistance training. These effects extend beyond acute fluid shifts and they are sustained after supplementation. The muscle you build on creatine, most of it you keep afterwards. That's cool. And Maybe a higher initial loading phase or more sustained high dose clearly enhances hypertrophy. But we know from many of these studies that even lower doses do this in most of the studies. Some of the studies that show creatine doesn't work, and this study we have reviewed today is not one of them, are too short term, just a few weeks, or too low dose, one to two grams. They show that creatine doesn't build muscle, but that's really like, you know, asking someone like, hey, um, interact with my friend to see if he's funny. They're like, okay. So they sit across the table. They're like, so what's up? And the friend's like, so anyway. And they're like, okay, that's it. What do you think? What is he funny? Like, but I didn't even hear him saying, I, I don't know. His face looked, I don't know. Not enough. Not enough time. Not enough friend. You get the idea. Overall practical takeaway from this whole body of literature is that creatine results in actual muscle gains, function to make you bigger and stronger, are really supported by mechanisms, and are irrespective of body water, though it does also help with the body water thing. It's not just transient water weight, like this study found. And in fact, creatine is one of the few genuinely hypertrophic supplements robustly backed by randomized control trials. There are not a lot of other supplements that have the effect creatine does. Creatine is the number one non-drug muscle building supplement, period, especially if you're consuming enough protein in your diet. 